Gary Lawless and Adam Wozni of the Free Press Sports Department here at the Blue Bomber offices. Adam, we just listened to Joe Mack address the media. General Manager of the Blue Bombers, Joe Mack, addressed the media concerning A, Jonathan Hefney and Dion Beasley and their Twitter feeds this morning. And then secondly, what went on in free agency yesterday, the first day of free agency. Let's talk first about uh, what Joe had to say about Hefney and Beasley. Well, it doesn't sound like he's very happy. Obviously, both players took to Twitter and uh, you know voiced their displeasure that uh, the Bombers let uh, Craig Carr and, and Donnie O go and and Brendan Lambat go in free agency. Uh, yeah, both players uh, uh, were not very pleased with uh, what you know basically called out management, and um, you know Joe addressed it and said that it would be uh, handled uh, accordingly. It sounded to me like you know this was going to be a discussion, maybe a fine. Neither player will be cut for this or traded at this point in time, and that's the correct reaction. For him to say, I'm going to cut one of them and get nothing for them would not be uh, the wise move, and to say he was going to trade one of them would also put him in a position of weakness immediately. So we'll watch this and see how it develops down the road. This is jo not Jonathan Hefney's first brush with Twitter. He's had some, some trouble with the club previously, so that'll be interesting to watch. He's also their best defensive player, uh, you know, or arguably their best defensive player. And Joe Mack, you know, made a point of saying that there'd be uh, a few more DBs in training camp this year. So, you know, maybe that's just a, a little shot across the bow of both players. Good luck if you can find another player like Jonathan Hefty. That'll be good for Blue Bomber fans for sure. Secondly, he addressed the loss of uh, Brendan Labatt, Greg Carr, and uh, Don Ramesion. Ramesion, he basically just sort of said, we wish him good luck. Carr, they were disappointed the way it went down. Labatt, he admits uh, it was the guy they wanted. Well, I mean, you, you know, Carr, as, he, as Joe Mack mentioned, Carr is an American receiver. You know, he thinks that he can find another guy to replace him, and I'm, you know, I'm sure he can. They're, they're out there. Aramisian and Labatt, though, these are Canadian uh, players and young Canadian players who the Bombers aren't, have just let go. And, you know, obviously they tried to sign Labatt. They were in the running for him. Donio, they just let him walk. It's, interesting, it's an interesting strategy because earlier this week, Joe Mack said how important Canadians are to building a, a successful Canadian football franchise. And yet here we are, you know, at 26 hours into free agency and two Canadians have walked. He, he also stated that his offer uh, for Brendan Labatt was as good, if not better, than the one that the Saskatchewan Rough Riders had on the table. I don't believe that to be accurate. Uh, however, uh, we'll find out more of that as, as it goes on. We thought the offer the Bombers had on the table was for around 166000 The offer that the Riders actually put forward, much closer to $200,000. And I think what you're going to see now, is, as he mentioned, and what, kind of what I was thinking they would do, is they'd let the first day kind of go and let you know target who they target. Targeted. They targeted Greg Card, didn't get him. They're going to let it just cool down now, I think, and let you know let the players kind of trickle into different teams and and try to pick up guys through the second round to free you know once once the heat dies down a bit and pick them up once it comes around again. Thanks for this, Adam. Thanks, Gary.